and so we use this critical block over here what this OMB critical block does is that as we guys saw before in a serial section in a, in a parallel section okay in a parallel regime critical block makes sure that uh, the, the code inside it is run serially one after the other one thread after the other with I mean they, they, they need, need not preserve the order but they run, they run one after the other okay so sum2 equals sum2 plus sum1 if you do that all the all the four threads will go inside the value and they'll contribute the value of sum1 and then they i mean this code gets executed by all the threads one after the other and that's it okay now to print the result what i've done is that to print the result what i've done is that i've used this command over here omp single what this what this directive this is where our tutorial this is where the key point of a tutorial today what this does is that all the statements which are run between uh, here and here they're all executed by just a single thread so to make sure that this is executed by a single thread i'm printing i'm putting this statement over here print single construct performed by thread and comma thread num so any thread which got which became free over here after doing the critical block it will come over here do this job and then st and then that's it the first thread that finishes this job over here will come over and do this and it's going to print the area of the integral over here and then this parallel block gets, ends up and then we call the cpu timer once again the estimated pa estimated parallel uh, estimated period ep is calculated by this and if you're in no parallel mode we divide that by number of threads to get the actual time taken for this region and then we print the open mp uh, will this command and stuff and uh, for this i don't think we need this okay and then we get the time taken for execution in this in this line and that's it okay now so far so good i'll explain about this barrier uh, barrier thing in a minute okay okay now so far so good now similarly like in the last programs i've written a small sh shell script to run this entire thing so let me clear this let me clear this so if i were to run this bash star dot search okay it says that uh, the single construct is, was performed by thread zero okay the area of the integral is 7.6 times 10 power minus 2 the open mp mode it took about one millisecond to follow this open every bottom this time is okay, but if you look at the area of the single area of the integral, it says that it, no, it's not equal to one. Now this is odd. When the single constant was performed by thread zero, now this is not perfect. This is not right because this is not right because uh, it, it means to say that uh, some of the some of the additions or some some of the additions are were not used. Okay. Some of the, I mean, it's, it was not, uh, I think it's, I think it means to say that, you know, the OIP critical block did not finish or something like that. Okay. So what you're going to do is that let's run this program again to see what's happening. And this time, if you look at it, the area is a point for something. The area is point for something. Now, now this is, uh, this is awkward. Now if I run this again, this is even this time the single thread was performed by master uh, master thread which is thread number zero and the area is 0 0.7.611 times 10 power minus 2 which is again wrong so this is this is continuously going wrong okay now this is where our OMP barrier begins or OMP barrier is helpful now if you look at this parallel section over here parallel section over here okay now this thread this part this part will be independent for each thread okay because in the entire regime these this part will be done separately by each regimes i mean each thread so that's not a problem okay the problem comes over here what if what if um you know even before this gets finished even even before this gets finished all the critical uh, critical blocks get, do the job over here and they just contribute the value of someone in, in between and do the job okay what in, uh, that 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 could be a problem over here see what happens is as follows while this job is being done let's say well, the, well like let's say three other threads finish this job okay let me write this let me write this down so that it may be easy now let's say the do loop part do loop part okay um, 
four jobs have to do it and then each and then three of the jobs finish loop and the do loop and then one job is remaining one one part of this do loop is remaining by one thread and uh, the critical and uh, while this while th this part is being under this part is being under uh, how do i put it okay now there are five uh, let's say one two three four now this is thread by thread zero uh, thread zero this is thread done by thread one two three now what I, what I'm saying is, let's say this part is done and this part is done and this part is done, uh, this part is done and this part is remaining is under process. Now what happens is that as and when this as and when this is going on, your uh, these these three threads, which finish the do loop, will go to your. Okay, let me put this aside. These three threads will go and start doing this critical block. critical block so in the critical block is just a single addition so this is going to take very very small amount of time so 0 1 and 2 will as and when they finish this they will finish this critical block over here and then uh, because of this critical block nature it might uh, it might tell the it might tell the other threads other other thread to uh, come give, give its value at, at that uh, at that end and in, at that instant at that instant so the value of that thread uh, which is three which is under calculation will be called immediately but when that calculation could be just partial it may not be complete okay so when that ha what happens is in that case is that uh, your three values might give your three value threads might give you the correct value before it could finish whereas this thread was still waiting and even before it could finish its job other threads just to call the critical block and uh, may, may, might have forced the, the the value of that was available in this thread to come over okay so what we need is that in, before this critical block can be executed we just need a, a kind of a uh, some block that puts a stop over here st that's a, that puts a stop over here saying hey when you guys finish this halt over here just halt over here and if only when all the threads are finished you are allowed to go okay so this this command uh, that command which or directive which puts a halt after some parallel regimes to make sure that all the threads catch up with the work is called as OMP barrier now as the name suggests OMP barrier puts a barrier and makes sure that all the threads finish so what happens is that if you put an OMP barrier like this uh, even when all the, even when even when the three uh, even when the if you have four threads only when all the four threads finish this part of the loop this part of the pro program they can proceed further even if one of the even if one of them is waiting one of them is finished only even if one of them is just doing the job they will wait till uh, all the other threads will wait till uh, all the threads finish and only when all the threads only if, uh, if all the threads finish they'll move to get move so if you activate omp barrier check what happens uh, if i run this pro okay let me no clear this up. Right. okay now if i run this if i make sure that uh, omp barrier is active watch this the area of the integral is close to one okay and this time the single constant was performed by thread two okay now do this again a single constant performed by thread two the area of the integral is going on coming out fine now we're now we're consistent now if you look at it this part this time single constant was done by thread zero and the area of the integral is one point something okay and the time taken for execution is one millisecond not bad now if you run this again if you look at it the answers are remaining consistent whereas the single constant would be performed by zero or one or two depending on which how it how you run it okay so if you look at the single constant this entire thing uh, this entire thing was executed by a single thread alone so if this is useful if you are doing some kind of diagnostic and want to know where the program where the program how the program is going on whether it's working or not this can be used by, for diagnostics or for displaying results while uh, you know working some kind of a re really serious code or something like that
okay this would be really useful in that regard and this is the advantage of barrier what barrier does is that it makes a potential halt in your programs and makes sure that all uh, potential halt in your program so that all the threads catch up to that particular point and only when all the threads catch up and finish the job and reach this particular point the program will proceed further otherwise it doesn't now now let's see about now let's see uh, the a of the integral is one point something and after that you have some extra values over here Okay, now to do now to rectify that, what we can do is that we can just add a few more zeros over here. Okay, now let's see how this works. It will, now this will take a few minutes, sorry, few time. And if you look at it, after adding some zeros, the result has increased substantially. The time increased, but the result uh, accuracy has improved as well. So let me add one more zero. And if I run this, this will take some more time, maybe three times more time or something it, okay the area the uh, i mean the result has improved when compared to the other so you have like one two three four five six seven eight eight, eight digits of press uh, eight digits of accuracy over here and after that you're getting some you know inconsistent value but this is quite good you know this area is quite good like for this formula the you know for the simplest approximation of summation we're using over here, this area is fine. On the other hand, let's do an opposite thing and reduce the value of m. Instead of 100,000 or a million or something like that, let's reduce the m number of points to be smaller. So let's say 1,000. Let's run this again. If you notice, up to three digits, the area is fine. And after that, you're getting some, uh, getting some extra values, which is wrong. So if I were to reduce this even smaller, let's say, as obvious you'll notice, this will be even more erroneous. So in these kind of, in this numerical uh, uh, integration and stuff, make sure that the divisions are much smaller so that you know your answers are very accurate. Accurate. So if you want to use a very simple formula to calculate the area of the integrals or something like that, you need to go for high number of divisions, which take which take uh, takes a large number of computations and more time. Okay, for higher precision. Okay, and the trade off is that uh, go with an advanced integration or uh, integration rules. Okay, integration rules. Thereby, you know, you do less number of computation and the same time you do, you get a higher precision. Okay, it's a trade off thing. Okay. That's all I have. That's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.